It's not your specific person's fault when they're ghosting you. Why? <laughs> your person is just your mirror. Maybe you have a limiting assumption about them. If you perceive them as not there, as not coming, the universe will affirm that. They cannot give you anything else than what you put out there. So as I said, your person's mirroring your self-concept. Do I treat myself well? Am I the person who has always been loved? Or also your concept about them. In your inner mind, see them as always reaching out. You can do that with affirmations. Don't neglect learning to treat yourself like the king or queen you are so they can do it too. Of course, we're not talking about egoism. A king or queen would not look down on others. A king or queen would not perceive themselves as better than others. A good king or queen, a good leader, a good alpha wants everyone to be happy, of course, but they can still hold their ground and they can set boundaries, okay? So it's not about not helping others in need. That's not what I'm talking about, obviously. We're still connected to everyone and we want everyone to be happy, but we want us to be happy too. And if you fill your own cup, then you have enough energy to help others. But your cup needs to be full first, okay? Show the universe, you deserve to have the full cup and then you will get more and more filling. <laughs> When we manifest, we perceive the other person as being there either through visualization, for example, through scripting, through yeah affirmations, did I already say that? <laughs> or any other technique. We want to reprogram you to be in the energy of them being there. Your subconscious mind also won't distinguish between what is truth and what is something I visualize right now or I affirm. So when you talk to your person in your mind, Please talk to them as if they were there, not, oh my God, I miss you, because that's telling the universe, they're not there, I miss them, they're not there, and so you're manifesting them not being there. Talk to them as if they were there. Use inner dialogue, for example, as a technique to manifest, or you affirm that they're with you. You script it, and then you read it, you visualize it. It does not matter what kind of technique, but for your subconscious mind, in that short moment, you are with them. And that automatically shifts you into the timeline where you have union with them. Unless you then get in back into negative thinking and beliefs or you yourself are not in the energy. You know, you cannot manifest union if you're not in self-love because that person has to mirror you that you're not in self-love. As you already can see, it's not their fault. It's not their fault but assumptions you have about them. Because you can say, yeah, but I only had the assumption because they were acting that way. No, you already had the assumption. If it was not connected to them, then it was connected to something from your past. They mirrored that back to you and then you formed your assumption about them and then they proved you right. <laughs> But once you change your assumption on your inside, then they will change, they will shift. If you wait for them to change, as I said, you will wait for a long time. Don't wait, roll up your sleeve, step into your power, claim that union, go get your person and it is done, you can have it. It's not their fault. <laughs> Stop blaming them because if you stay in this victim mentality, they won't change because a victim will manifest the person who's doing something to them, even if it's not reaching out. You're not a victim. You are a conscious creator. You are a powerful creator. Use your power. It is your God-given power. Actually, we don't create. It already is created, but we choose. <laughs> choose the timeline you want by stepping into the energy of it and it will come and your person will have to conform. They don't have any free will. If you don't understand that, please check out my video about free will. And I either see you there, I see you in my social media or in personal coaching. And also please like, subscribe, hit the bell. I can leave your comments. Let me know if this was helpful for you. And yeah, I see you in another video of personal coaching. Until then, I wish you all the best now. Bye-bye.